you need to be a hard charging kind of uh, you know age group type of athlete and and uh, and have done the, done the training done your homework because if you haven't done that you know there's no hiding out there you're not gonna you're not gonna finish something like this if you if you haven't uh, if you don't have the training in it this is a pretty big endeavor so we, we definitely encourage guys to have some form of training going into this you know it's not not something that you can just sort of decide I don't, you know, I ride my bike a little bit. I'm gonna go for this. You need to be well prepared. You need to have a plan in place. Very, very tough. It's been fun and hard. <laughs> Most difficult things I've ever done. And then when they achieve it, you know, it just, it's awesome, you know, because they, they did something that they really weren't sure maybe at some point during the ride they were gonna be able to do it. And when they achieve it, it's like, it's life inspiring. It's life changing. They realize that wow, they did something that they really didn't necessarily know that they were going to be able to do. The bucket list is various events around the world that are just, you know, epic, iconic events. Basically a full race experience. So these guys are going to be treated like pros. So they have full mechanical support. They don't have to touch their bikes once they're here. They're massaged every day. We're staying in the race hotels with the other teams. So we're eating the meals with the teams. Uh, same food as the pros, you know, same schedule as the pros, same race distance as the pros. They just focus on being a, basically a pro bike rider for the week. Four, five, six, seven days in a row to accomplish this goal. And each day is harder than any of those one day events that you've ever done. There's a lot of anxiety. The athletes are all nervous. They're, they're worried. They're wondering if they're fit enough. They're wondering how strong they are. They're focused, they're dedicated, they love a challenge, and they may have had challenges in terms of school and starting a business or starting their family, but this is a totally different challenge. It's a more of a physical challenge that they may not have experienced since high school or college when you played athletics. You know, you're wondering how you're going to stack up against everyone and how that, how that is going to go. Typically, everybody has one of those type of days that just is going to be, you know, somewhere during that day, that stage, it, they're going to be really kind of emotional to the bone on wondering whether they're going to be able to get through that. You know, six or eight or nine thousand climbing in a ride, but to do it every day, it's, uh, I think I know how my body's going to feel, but I'm, you're, I'm not exactly sure, so it's going to be, um, be interesting. That's the thing I think keeps people coming, and, and the reason why people come to this is because they want to see how far they can push themselves, and and um, you know, striving to do something that sort of takes them out of their comfort zone a little bit. Was, I saw on on uh, Carmichael or the Pro Challenge website the opportunity, and I think I heard about it on the radio that morning, and I dashed to my computer to to sign up and to see what was involved. And when I clicked on the, the application process, I was really surprised. And it's a detailed application. We look, uh, we look at their, their historical background from an athlete perspective. We look at some of the events that they've done. We look to, at their current physical condition. We uh, look for uh, power files. In fact, I was surprised at how much uh, detail and care they took to find out what each athlete is capable of. It's to see if they can handle this type of this type of event because we've got to move when they say go, you know, so to speak. We got to move because we don't want the pros catching us. And when I got picked, I felt like uh, Charlie in uh, the Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. <clears throat> I couldn't believe that I had a ticket. Is uh, and I never thought that I would that I would ever be involved in something that I would suffer so much. I would be so excited about being being part of it. Then the. The realization of oh my god now I gotta get ready to ride 800 miles in a week. I got the email and phone call from Leland. <clears throat> there was a big whooping sound that came out of my office, and everybody on the floor came to my office to see what had happened because they didn't know. Because normally I've got to be the one that's calm and stoic, and I just couldn't contain it. I was sort of felt like a 10-year-old kid at Christmas getting a getting a Zeppelin. It was awesome.